hello. I was looking at my leather jacket the other day and it kind of reminded me of Corviknight because it's kind of like black and shiny and metally looking. So then I had this idea, why not make a Corviknight inspired outfit? And from there it kind of escalated to me having six different outfits based on Pokemon from the new Sword and Shield games. I picked not just based on the Pokemon's looks but also based on the Pokemon's personality. I didn't buy anything for this so everything that you see in this video I either had in my closet or I took from my boyfriend's closet. Starting off we have Grookey. Now for Grookey I knew I needed to include its lime green color so I decided to wear this lime green turtleneck but I also wanted to incorporate the brown and I don't have a lot of brown so I ended up going with this leopard print skirt. I feel like it works really well because leopard print and neon are both really playful and Grookey is a very playful Pokemon. I also paired it with a brown leather backpack and shoes to keep that brown theme going. For my hair I wore it half down and half up in a little top knot kind of like the little doodad on Grookey's head and for earrings I wore these little gold ones that have rings, kind of like the rings around Grookey's eyes. Plus they have little stick-like things on them, which reminds me of Grookey because he carries the stick. Next up we have Scorbunny. Now Scorbunny is a very energetic, athletic Pokemon. This is totally the type of person that you can imagine wearing sweatpants even if they're not going to the gym, trying to make those sweatpants look cute. Scorbunny has a lot of stripes on it with the different band-aids and the different color blocking on it. So I decided to go with a pant that had a white stripe down for an athletic plus stripe plus it has a little bit of that white that's on score bunny the top I wore with it also has a stripe texture and it's white so it fits really well with score bunny of course score bunny is wearing sneakers and white sneakers just made sense if I had orange sneakers I'd probably wear those instead because of its toes but I don't I wore yellow earrings that kind of look like the inside of score bunny's ears and I wore an orange little necktie scarf because it matches with the orange around score bunny's neck for my hair I wore it back in a ponytail because score bunny has places to go and does not have time to do fancy hairdos. For Sable, I wanted to play up a kind of shy, nervous element, so I borrowed my boyfriend's oversized light blue shirt. I wore it with dark blue jeans because Sable also has dark blue on him, and then little white booties. For my hair, I wore it up in a top knot because of the way Sable has that fin, and I decided to wear my glasses because Sable's eyes are usually really big because he's so scared. For my purse, I chose this one because it's yellow and it matches the kind of shape of Sable's fin. It also has tiny little gold details which kind of look like bubbles to me. Next up we have Impidimp who has not officially been revealed yet but I thought it might be kind of fun to do one. If Impidimp was a person it would probably act kind of innocent but be a huge troublemaker. It would also probably want everyone to look at it. I decided to wear this very dramatic pink dress with really ridiculously tall heels. I wore dangly earrings in a dark purple color that attract the eyes. I decided not to wear a purse because I feel like like Impidimp would pawn its phone and card off on somebody else or even try to get somebody else to pay because that's how Impidimp rolls. Next up we've got the fan favorite Wooloo. It's basically just a big fluffy sheep. So I knew that for this one I wanted it to be really really comfy and really really simple. I'm allergic to wool so I can't wear anything that's actual wool but I feel like this sweater kind of looks like it's made of wool and it's the right color for Wooloo's body. I decided to wear my black snow boots. I wore a white fluffy headband just to finish off that super cozy, super fluffy vibe. The last one I have for you is Corviknight. Corviknight is one of my favorite Pokemon in the new generation and it was one of my favorite ones to style. Unlike the other outfits, I feel like this is one that I definitely would wear out to like some sort of special occasion or something. Corviknight is basically the taxi of the region, so I wanted to incorporate the idea of travel mixed with the black shiny metal vibe. I decided to start with my black leather jacket. From there I added on a black leather skirt and black boots with the same zipper detail. Under the leather jacket I wore a black velvet shirt that has a little bit of understated shine to it. To cap it off, literally, I decided to wear a black hat with a little bit of silver detail since that's pretty prevalent in the outfit. I feel like this hat looks like a driver cap so it's kind of perfect for the taxi Pokemon. So what do you think? Do these outfits match with the Pokemon they were inspired by? Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. If you like this video make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more click subscribe. I will be live streaming Pokemon Sword and Shield on my YouTube channel as soon as I get it so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss notifications about that. Also I will be doing more announcements about it on my Instagram so make sure to follow me there as well. Bye!